and the images which reveal the wonders of a forgotten city centuries old and found by chance beneath dense jungle in Mexico. Now, technology is helping archaeologists to uncover ancient civilizations in the North and Central American jungles. Yeah, the distinctive Mayan temples and cities are now being explored using radar and that's helping scientists to understand more about the communities who live there. Georgina Ranard reports. Deep in the Central American jungle, the trees are hiding treasures. Radar, fired from a plane, peers through the canopy to search for ruins. This is in Guatemala, but archaeologists have now discovered another huge city, this time in Mexico. They're calling it Valeriana. Now, we don't have any pictures of Valeriana. That's because no one's been there for hundreds of years. So we thought we'd show you what it might have looked like here in this virtual studio. This is a Mayan pyramid temple, similar to the ones that would have been found in the city. People worshipped here, brought riches like jade masks, and even buried the dead. In total, the team found almost 7,000 buildings in an area of the jungle about the size of Edinburgh. Up to 50,000 people may have lived in this area at its peak in the 9th century. Alongside houses, the archaeologists found evidence of amphitheatres, plazas, and even a sports field for an ancient ball game. It would have been a very colorful, very uh, lush, and I think very striking environment to move through. Things like palaces and temple pyramids, all of those would have been covered in uh, lime plaster and then painted red, pink, and yellow, and black. There would have been clusters of buildings where people mostly spend their time making ceramics or mostly spend their time shaping stone tools. Um, this part of the world, there's some evidence for marketplaces. It took centuries, but war, climate change, and the Spanish invasion caused the collapse of the Mayans. But their descendants still live in Campeche today. And at the new site, just 15 minutes from a busy road, their ancient relatives lie beneath their feet. Georgina Rannard, BBC News. Fascinating, that, isn't, isn't it? it? Just 